This is Redbeard, and on this adventure, I talk about being on the dark side for 1,000 miles. You don't know the power of the dark side. So I have now passed the 1,000 mile mark using this car tire. Uh, I have seen no decrease in performance. I have seen better grip. I've, uh, I've seen at least the same handling. So on my 1,000 mile journey, I've gone back and forth to work numerous times. I've done the chicken run. I did a hour long ride going down to Malala for the end of season camp out with the Oregon District Going Road Riders Association. I've uh, I've ridden a good bit in those thousand miles, decent locations, not just back and forth to work. I mean, it hasn't been that long since I put the car tire on here. I've experienced no restrictions in lean angle. I've uh, I've done a little bit of peg scraping. I prefer not to scrape my pegs, because if I'm scraping my pegs, I have no more room to move. I'm, I'm locked in. Uh, was a few years ago, when I was riding my 300, I was scraping the pegs an awful lot. And I actually had one instance where I'm going around the corner, scraping the pegs all the way through the corner, and I, uh, I can't hold my line in, uh, in the scrape. I can't hold the curve, and so I cross over into the other line. Uh, I couldn't do anything because I was scraping. That was as far as I could go. There's no more lean. And uh, since then, I decided uh, I'd rather I'd rather not scrape the pegs on a regular basis. If I scrape them occasionally, as I, you know, I didn't give myself a, enough uh, enough slowdown to get the curve properly, then okay, you know, I'll scrape a little bit. Uh, but I'm not going out there scraping pegs constantly. I'm I'm no MotoGP racer. Um, I, I enjoy touring, I enjoy getting a little spirited, uh, but scraping pegs all day long is not what I do. But the Goldwing will do that. It's got a decent uh, a decent lean angle, especially for as big as it is. Some people have referred to this as a gentleman's sport bike. I mean, we got comfort, we got speed, we got power. Um, the quarter mile is uh, no slouch. It's a good bike, and putting a car tire on there does not negatively affect any performance. Uh, stop lights are easier. I do have a little more balance since uh, the car tire is more flat, even more flat than a, a worn out motorcycle tire. Uh, I found that to be helpful, especially two up. Two of my daughters have ridden on here and they both found it to be very comfortable. They're, I mean, they're sitting right on top of the tire. So what do I like best about my car tire? Oh, that's hard to say. I do like the idea of the longevity. I put uh, 25,000 miles uh, on, the, on this bike the first 12 months I've owned it. In the next 12 months, I plan on doing a little more. I went uh, cross-country once all the way to Key West and up to uh, Tell of the Dragon last year. This year, I plan on going uh, riding the Ozarks uh, in, uh, in May and then plan on going to Nashville for Wingding in August. So I got two cross-country trips planned for this year. Uh, so I got lots more miles to put on these tires, and this tire will last uh, that whole time and more. Or the E4s I've been using, these Dunlops I've been using, I, I got 15,000 miles out of that first one. Uh, that's pretty good for a motorcycle tire, but it's, uh, it's a far cry from from what this uh, Bridgestone Drive Guard will give me. Yep, 195, 55, 16, just like the Caliente group. It is a great tire. They picked well. Uh, and I did my research too. I, I didn't just take them blindly. I wanted to make sure it fit my needs. Uh, the main thing I checked, though, was uh, the rounded edges, which this guy you can see in his videos, and uh, and the right tire pressure. I wanted to be able to pump it up to 41 pounds uh, for my TPMS without any causing any problem. Another thing I like is going over graded bridges. On the motorcycle tire, it's uh, it's a little squirrely. Uh, you uh, you do use extreme caution, as the sign says. I went over a short graded bridge, but it was graded nonetheless, but I didn't feel anything different. It was the same as if I was on the uh, pavement. Now, I didn't try to move around a lot on it because, you know, I'm not used to doing that. So maybe uh, maybe it's about the same if I try to move around. But, uh, you know, keep that straight line that you typically do on uh, grade, it was, uh, it was no problem. It felt very planned. I was very excited about that. Uh, Chris Caliente talked about the groove pavement and how he started. Uh, he really got convinced to use a car tire because of the groove pavement he had to go on. And I've gone over very little groove pavement. Um, I know that one great, but 
Wow, what a what a difference. It gives you a lot more confidence. A lot more confidence. Don't feel like you're about to fall. This is Redbeard, and until my next adventure, see you on the road.